Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Night here at Heavy Cardboard. Teach, play, discuss. Y'all know the deal. Hey, I'm your host, Edward Euler. It says so down there. Uh, happy to be joined by some familiar faces, and finally, welcome back. Thank you. I'm Trey. Martin? Of a mountain. <laughs> Martin the Younger. Martin mm -hmm. the Elder. There Indeed. we go. All right, tonight we are busting out uh, the prototype of Skyrise. Skyrise is a reimagining of an all time classic. It as far as I'm concerned, at least. Uh, designed by Sebastian Pochon, I suppose, Metropolis, or Metrop Metropolis or Metropolis? I, I've never got Metropolis, gotten, I would say. It, Metropolis, because it's got the Y. Yeah, you know, it's something that's how the movie's pronounced, right? Metropolis. Go with it, Metropolis. That's the original. This is built upon it. Designed by Sebastian Pochon, and uh, got the Roxley treatment, if you will, from Adam Wise as well as Gavin Brown. Uh, now, Roxley obviously published the game, also provided us with the prototype. I want to stress prototype. It's gorgeous. It's ridiculous for this being a, a prototype. That said, they've already said some things are going to be changing about it, so that's what I mean by prototype. Uh, they've also sponsored the stream, so thanks to Gavin, Adam, Paul, everybody over at Roxley uh, for partnering up for, that, for this tonight. So if you like bidding games, auction games, bidding games, six and one, half a dozen, the other, uh, and you like uh, area majority stuff, this is definitely going to be one to check out. Uh, currently on Kickstarter, check the link down below. You know the whole deal. So, prototype, rules, components, um, everything is subject to change, graphic design, the whole nine yards. Uh, I'm both, I see that uh, Paul's here and I saw that Adam is in chat, so they may be able to highlight specific things that are already changing. I know the bridges are changing, but outside of that, um, we're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Uh, gonna do a full teach, or at least most of it, and then some of the little details here or there we'll do while we are uh, going through it. But um, yeah, I've played Metropolis, Metropolis, whatever. I've played it a bunch. Um, you've played it a, a few, bunch, a times, right? Yeah. 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 And they have not, but they have played this. We all have played this. We played this last weekend. Uh, very similar, but it it's built upon the bones of Metropolis and then some, and it's pertified. So yeah. there you go. Y'all ready? They're ready. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and roll into it, shall we? After centuries of advancement, humanity has created a utopian society in which every need has been met with complete abundance. Every need but one, room to build. In Skyrise, players are the visionary architects who will work to overcome this limitation by building humanity's most ambitious project, a glorious new city in the sky itself, dedicated to art and beauty, on which each player will compete to leave their personal artistic signature, gaining prestige throughout the ages. So that's the setting. We're going to call it a setting because the theme, eh, all right, it's a setting. All right, so what is it y'all are looking at here? Well, first off, I'm playing teal, prototype, so just bear with it. That said, victory point track, round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Then we have our score markers there. Then we have the floating, floating city. The, it is broken up into five different districts, so the five different uh, areas out here on the board, and within those there are different neighborhoods. There are four different colors. You have, we're, for simplicity, we're going to call them green, white, brown, and yellow, different neighborhoods in there, all right? And the five islands. The small island here is technically its own island, so there are five, the four corners and the center island as well. Everybody has their own buildings. Their buildings, they're 3D minis, or they're going to be, I think, wooden pieces in the uh, Essentials Edition. They all have numbers on the back or on the underside of them. So you, when you play this, you actually play with the numbers facing up so that it's visible 
by all players. There are two different types, and I'll go ahead and show you all those here. So the two different types, we'll go ahead, there we go. You have the starting or era one ones without the dot at the bottom, then the, uh, the top grouping up here has a little dot on the bottom of the number. In addition to that, there is, each player has a unique wonder as well. Then there are different cards. There are secret objectives, which those secret objectives, all of them are 10 points each, pretty straightforward as far as who's going to have what color. They're going to coincide with the different colors uh, on the board, the different neighborhoods. And then this is just showing for island control for at the end of each of the two eras. Then there are, there we go. There are wonder cards and there are panorama cards. And we'll go over what those are uh, before we get started during the teach. We have the key to the, uh, the key to the city, if you will. It's basically whoever builds their last building, 10 points at the end of the game, all right? So each of the different islands have different neighborhoods. So how this game takes place is it's over two eras. Within each era, there's going to be a series of turns. Each player, whoever is the first player, is going to take one of their one of their bidding buildings, if you will, and I'll go ahead and do this again. There we go. They're going to take one of their available bid bidding buildings and starting either out here on the center or adjacent to any other existing building. At the beginning of the game, obviously, that's not possible. So the first bid is going to go into there. Your bids range from, well, whatever the low number is up to the high number. You, it is your choice as to what to start the bid on. Now, one thing I want to point out, and how even though the numbers look random, they are not. The uh, single digits all range from one to four, depending on the players. So you know that I have the second highest of the of the single numbers. I have the second highest of the tens. I have the lowest number of the 20s, the lowest number of the 30s, so on and so forth. I have the highest of the 80s, etc., etc. So the one, two, and three, and four shows the strength of your bid within that 10-digit bucket if you will. So on your turn, hey, I maybe I want to start the bidding and I can start any of these. I'll go ahead and start out here like so. At that point, bidding is going to go clockwise around the table. So from there, Shrey is then going to either place a building out here adjacent to that. Adjacent means adjacent these bridges. So this uh, district is adjacent. The white district is adjacent. The brown district is adjacent, as well as the yellow district. We'll talk about adjacency here a little bit more in detail, but as it is, Shrey can either outbid me, so something higher than 61, or pass. When you pass, you're out for the entire thing. So let's say he says, you know what? I do wanna go ahead and fight. I'm gonna go ahead and bid out like so. At that point, it goes over to Martin the Younger. So he goes ahead, says, yeah, I'll bid, and he can place out there adjacent. So it's basically going to snake out any adjacent region. Let's go ahead and talk about adjacency now. You see where these purple blimps are out here on the board? These blimps coincide with various different uh, points where intersections, I think, would be a better way to frame that. So if you look, for instance, with this purple one, this white neighborhood is adjacent to brown. Obviously, it shares a side. It is adjacent to the green. It is adjacent to the yellow as well. That is actually a terrible example. Let me find. There we go. Let's move it over there. Over here is a better example. White is adjacent to green and brown. It is not adjacent to yellow. So basically, if you can see the other neighborhood around the edge of the blimp, then it's adjacent. So at the end of this blimp, they're still adjacent, so you know that those are adjacent. Obviously, it's obvious that they're adjacent, but you get the idea. Does that yep. make sense? Yep. So here, yellow can't find a way through to brown and share a side with it. Ergo, yellow is not adjacent to brown. But that said, now it would be Martin the Elder's turn. His adjacency options are the green area, the white area or neighborhood, the lake separates 
or neighborhoods, so it is not adjacent to this other yellow. And you notice, you see this little bridge right here. Anyone that connects the halves or the different islands is adjacent. So this brown is adjacent. So again, Martin the Elder's options, brown, green, white, and that's it. You can't double back where there's one, but as it is, he says, nah, not really interested, I pass. Well, it goes back to, well, the next player, which in that case is me, and I couldn't either, I have the option to continue bidding. If I choose to, I'll go ahead and bring my big boy out and say, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and bid there. Now adjacency is the yellow, the green, or the green. As it is, Shrey cannot outbid me because his biggest that's available in era one is 92. And you notice that Martin is 91. Martin could outbid me at 94, but he's already passed. So therefore, he cannot. I automatically will win that once I put that out. When you win one of these, what's going to happen, first off, the winning bid is going to flip over, and hey, cool, I now have claimed that area. Everybody is going to take back all of their losing bids, so take back my 61, like so, and then every district or every neighborhood on the board also has neighborhood disks. These neighborhood disks are randomly put out here. There's one in each of the different neighborhoods and those are going to go onto our player boards. So now would be a good time to talk about the player boards. Player boards have to do with end game scoring. So whenever you get a disk, it's going to go in one of five different places. It's either going to go onto either yellow, green, white, or brown, respectively. If it's a wild, when you claim it, you must immediately choose what color it's going to go on, or it's going to be a letter or a plus one. So if I had gotten that B, it's going to go on your avatar or on your little area over here. But as it is, that would go on there, and that's going to now increase scoring at the end of, uh, at the, end of the game. Okay, that yeah. makes sense? Easy yeah. enough. All right, so now, I've won that. So now that I have won that, who starts the bidding? Yours truly, the player that won the last bid. So at this point, my options on where to start bidding are adjacent to any existing building on the board. Obviously, that's the only one right now. So my options to start are that green, that yellow, because bridge, or that yellow, or the center island that is always available unless obviously all of the places are claimed. And once a neighborhood or a district has been, has been claimed, obviously nobody else can place a building on that. So you'll notice that some of these are like little dead ends on that. So if, for instance, let's say I was foolish and I started the bid, oh, I go here. Now Shrey says, oh, you know what? I'll go ahead and put that right there and boom, he claims it. Nobody else can bid. Why? There's nothing adjacent to it. So that would be foolish. I can't imagine anybody making that mistake in the last game, Edward. <clears throat> anyway, so he would claim this. Pretty simple. He would flip that over, take the D, et cetera, et cetera. I would take that back. Rinse and repeat. And then Shrey would choose to, or any place to start of any of the available places. Yada, yada, yada. Continue doing that until the end of the era. What is, you might be asking, the end of the era? Well, the end of the first era is when one player has placed all of their first bucket of seven buildings. Those seven buildings, again, are the ones without the dot as well as the ones that aren't the monument. So again, in my case, I have one already out there, so it'd be those six. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. All right? Cool. We'll go into end of era scoring here in a little bit. The beginning of the new era, certain things are going to happen, and we'll actually cover that more in detail when we actually get there. But let's go ahead now and talk about what these different districts and what the different letters represent, okay? If you notice, at the top of the board, help, point, top of the board, the, there we go. Uh, at the very top, okay, there we go. Uh, we have A's, B's, C's, and D's. Those are randomized, and those are going to be worth some number of points at the end of the game, which they're going to range from four to eight points, okay? Whenever you claim one of those discs, so if I claim an A, a C, a D, whatever, you can at any point, you're going to have it over here on your player board. You're going to say, hey, can I go ahead and look at the A? So literally, they'll hand it to me. I'll secretly look at it, put it back. 
all A's are going to be worth that number of points at the end of the game. Same with the B's. So the more, more diversity you have, the more you know what the points are. However, um, if you can focus on the eights, that's probably more beneficial. You get the idea. The plus ones, anywhere when you get a plus one in end game scoring, any of those districts are going to be worth an additional point. Okay. Or the, the, I'm sorry, the A through Ds will be worth one additional point when we score those as well. You said any. Do you mean any or all? Yes. D, all of the all above. Of the, yeah. All right. All right. So at the end of an era, when one player has placed all seven of their first buildings, we're going to go ahead and stop. And then we're going to score island control. Island control is that bad boy. Pretty simple. It's going to be a tiebreaker aspect. Whoever has put out their big building is going to win that island. However, if multiple players have put out their big building, so let's say it ends up something along the lines of this. So if you take a look at the bottom left one over here. So let's say I have my big building out here. Shrey has his big building out there. Well, then we go to who has mediums. Well, nobody does, okay? Then who has small? Shrey does. If it were something along the lines of that, we would tie at that point. But as it is, he has the tiebreaker because we go down in value from tall to medium to small. Whoever wins that control of that island is going to score straight up five points. Five points, we'll move the marker. We're going to do that for all five islands, including the middle one. That makes sense? Yep. Okay. Then we're going to score panoramas. All right, panorama cards is, and I'll go ahead and zoom in on that a little bit so y'all can see them. So the panorama card's pretty straightforward. At the end of the game, oh, no, no, that's the... sorry, never mind. Panorama cards, <laughs> two of these are going to be available at the beginning of the game. These two are going to be some sort of rule breaker that is going to be known before the game starts, and two of the five will be in play. And we'll cover those, what they are, when we start our game. We'll randomly choose what they are, and we will score these, and you can score them multiple times. So for instance, Chains right here says, score three prestige or three victory points for each island that you have three addition, three or more adjacent structures. So every chain of three, score three points. If you have three, I guess, two chains during the first era, you could score that twice, if six points. If they're on points. two different islands, not right. if they're on the same island. Right, okay, pretty simple. Yep. Pretty straightforward. Yep. So we will score those. Then we have to talk about wonder cards. So wonder cards, everyone is going to get dealt three of these bad boys at the beginning of the game. Okay. They have an initiative number at the top. Lower is going to start era two. But as it is, we're going to have three of these. At the beginning of era two, we are going to discard two of these out of the game, and we are going to then choose one and turn it face up so that it's public knowledge from that point forward. And whatever the rules, what, whatever the rule breaker is, that comes into play. But this only comes into play when you actually place your wonder. So the vault here says collected disc adjacent to this wonder. Pretty straightforward. It's not worth any, any points or anything along those lines, but it allows you to grab a disc to add to your player board. Pretty straightforward. The, that's, Atelier? Go with that. Yeah, this wonder counts as a tall building. Score four for each island where you have a tall building. Well, you have a total of three of them. Potentially, that would be a fourth, so that's going to be worth up to 16 points. At the moment you place the wonder, that's when it scores. Khan's Ambition says, reveal your secret objective. In other words, what color secret objective do you have? And we'll talk about that more in a, in a second. If you've achieved it, score two for each of your buildings that you have not yet constructed at the moment when you build your wonder. So if you can bust that out after you've built four buildings, you're going to score maybe up to 16 points. So pretty straightforward on that. So we're going to have three of these. We're going to choose, keep one, turn it face up, boom, done. So we will choose our wonder cards. Then we're going to bring out our era two buildings, including our wonder. Wonders we haven't talked about. What do wonders do? They're, they're trump. When they get played, boom, 
bidding ends, they win. You can never start a bidding with a wonder unless it's your only building. But let's say I put out a some number and then Shrey in era two says, no, boom, put my wonder down. He's going to immediately do whatever his special ability is and the bidding ends immediately and then he starts the new auction. Pretty straightforward with that. When the, through era two, when the first player has placed their last building, when they've done that, then they're going to go ahead and get the 10 point key to the city, immediately score the 10 points, pretty straightforward. The game does not end. If you're familiar with the original game, the game did end at that point. It doesn't here. We continue until all players have placed all of their buildings. At that point, game ends, we go into end of era scoring or end of game scoring. So what happens then? We're gonna go through island control scoring again. We're gonna to, uh, score five points, majority, right? Based on tallest building, etc., etc. Then we're going to score our panorama cards again the ones that are out here that are common to all the players. Then we're going to score our secret objectives. Now we will go ahead and talk about the secret objectives. These, pretty straightforward. They're 10 points apiece, and they all have to do with a color. So, at the end of the game, score 10 points if you have four more structures on Philosopher or Yellow neighborhoods. Pretty straightforward, yep. pretty simple, okay? Then, we're gonna score our discs and our tiles. So we're gonna score our patron discs. Our patrons are going to be those out there, however many points those are. Then we're going to go ahead and score our multiplier based on how many buildings we have in a different colored neighborhood. So as it is, if I have, say, three yellow buildings out there, or three buildings on yellow neighborhoods, each of them is going to be worth three points. Easy enough, nine points total. You'll notice these go up in value until they don't. After you have gotten the first four of a type, they will have already peaked at six, drop back down to four. Any additional tiles that you take for that color go onto your avatar there, and every one now is going to be worth eight points as well. Okay, easy enough. Go through all of those scoring, then whoever has the most points wins. And ties are broken by the player who gained the most prestige from patron discs. So those are the letters, A, B, C, and D. And that, folks, is how you play Skyrise. Any questions? No, let's go. Okay, cool, good. And I should have switched that over for y'all. I apologize. There we go. Cool. All right, good, good. All right, let me bring cameras up. Uh, if y'all will, we're going to go ahead and move the Era 2 buildings off of cam the camera because, A, it's confusing to us. Um, but also a little clarity sake. Uh, so these need to be shuffled and go ahead, somebody shuffle those up. Those need to be handed out and go Seems and shuffle hard. those out. Those, just one each, our secret oh. goals. Okay, y'all look down for a minute. This is my color, there you go, done. That's me, so that's gonna live right there. Everyone's going to get three wonder cards, I will take that one we will choose, and we will choose that one. Okay, so here we go. Three of these. I don't know why I started with Martin, but here, let's vary it up. Okay, the rest of the wonders out of the game. Good. So I have, let's see, my wonders there. I'll cover mine here in a minute. All right. So... Our prestige for our game. Here we go. So we have chains. Happens to be the one that I described during the teach. And then here, windmills. Score two points for each neighborhood with a windmill and one of your structures on it. So if you take a look at the actual board, each island, ha well, except for the center one, has two windmills on it. So there you go. You see windmill number one, windmill number two. In addition, one other thing I, I guess I should point out is all of this is modular, so this could have gone any, and these islands could have gone anywhere. That's it. I, You know what? Let's just do it that way. I have no idea how it was, and maybe that messes people up that were planning things. There we go. All right. Uh, take these back. You want to take your yellow buildings back. And for 
The peanut gallery, y'all don't pay attention. You don't have to look down, just don't pay attention. I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully this shows up all right. There we go. So what do we have? So we have the Lynch, score two for every structure that's adjacent to this wonder. Okay, pretty straight, at the time it's scored. And remember, lower number starts the bidding when it comes to that. Sullivan's Reach, uh, score two for every tall building on this wonder's island. Okay, good to know. And finally, the hammer. This wonder can outbid other wonders. Opponents may not bid tall buildings adjacent to this wonder. Eh, interesting. So in other words, normally when a wonder is placed, that's it. Well, not if that's the case. Uh, I have the ultimate trump or the hammer, if you will. All right, so those are mine. Um, also, I am Tamara de Lempica. Uh, I'm Antonio Santelia. Obviously. I'm Fritz Ling, the film director. I'm Vera Makina, a prominent Soviet sculptor and painter. Obviously. All right. So, um, we need to randomize turn order, don't we? Oh, I forgot to bring one of my wonderful steampunk themed uh, card decks. It's been so long since I've come here, I keep forgetting the basics. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Now, now I actually have to look at what the, uh, what the official starting is. Um, you see it? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Uh, sorry. Here we go. Uh, the player who most recently, uh, no, that's, who that's, won the that's, most that's, recent. Oh, right. Never mind. That's the actual. No, All right. it's probably in the first page. You think so? Huh. Maybe. maybe. No, it's yeah. not. No. Okay. All right. We'll just randomize it. Um, oh, we need it. Where did I steal this from? Right there. Uh, here we go. Shrey, Martin. This is a bad idea, just to be clear. <laughs> um, me and Martin the Younger there. I have no idea what I said, so y'all are going to have to figure out who's who. There. Okay, there you go. Martin the Younger. And I have no it doesn't matter. It, it's random. So there. And where did I grab the last one? Thank you. There we go. All right, so Martin the Younger begins. All right, Adam says determine randomly, so I guess we did it right. Um, I'll be honest. I don't know how much y'all want to see it that way. Y'all really want to see it that way, don't you? And then zoomed in. Yeah, I think so. Tell me otherwise, okay? All right. All right, hopefully that's better. Yeah, Maybe. we did a mic check, but we'll see. All right, so we're starting to bidding right there. Martin the Younger, 53. Martin the Elder, you're up. Over under Glory to Rome's. Three and a half, I think, and place your bets now. Oh, we okay. start, with a, start with the higher. I'm, I'm gonna I've got no idea what I'm doing, with, particularly with these early moves, so I'm just going to pass and hope that's not a bad idea. Okay, um, so... I guess we'll bounce between the cameras here tonight, but so my 52 doesn't outbid the 53. I could go 61. Let's go ahead and keep the uh, the train of moving. And I'm willing to go 61 plus the, the plus one is worth one, uh, plus one to all the patron discs. So, you know, go with it. <coughs> all right, good. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what to do here. Um, I'm obviously not going to go here, because then that would mm. let some... Oh, I mean, letting someone to take that with uh, with like a 70-something would be fine. That would be acceptable. But um, I don't mind getting in on the uh, the middle island with a slightly higher number. Martin? Yeah, hmm. I am... So if I pass, it'll just be between you and Trey, because Mr. Fowler has already passed. Uh, however, I am... Not Links down below. Mm. False start, Martin? Yeah. <laughs> let's... Yeah, let's do it. 74. So I only have two options for rebidding. 84 and 93. Do I really, ha I mean, 
The nice thing about this location is it's adjacent to two bridges, right? So you have bridge number one to that island, bridge number two on that one. So that's a great spot for bidding. Um, and I realize, hold on, y'all can't see that second bridge. There you go, there's the second bridge. Uh, no, I pass. So it's between Martin and Shrey now. Yeah, I'll pass also. I don't think I need to go. All right, so there you go. Yeah, in the game we did before, you, one of the uh, panoramas was having uh, been on bridges, but that's not the case this time. So the bridges aren't as valuable as they were the last time. We Correct. Played. Yep. All right, Martin. All right, let us. So must be adjacent to an existing building or the center island, right? Mm -hmm. And again, to be clear, could have started there. Oh, sorry, could have started there, as well. So, all right. Hmm. Well, there's a windmill right there. Yep. Maybe it's worth trying to kind of nudge my way towards the windmill. No, nope. you cool. jumped. Yeah, you did. Mm. That, that, that is a non-trivial um, option. So now, green, sorry, green, yellow are my two options. And I only have three pieces bigger than that. Um, yeah, you and me both, Fernando. I'm going to be completely thrown off by this. Oh, the fact that I'm not yellow? Yep. Well, cream, sorry. Cream. Yeah, right. thank you. I don't know what it is with the cream up in Canada, but you, you're, you've got to really think about what you're doing to your cows. <laughs> we'll call it custard. Instead. Right, there you go, all right. Uh, yeah, custard is good. I like custard. That's a good word for it. How do you um, know about custard? You're American. Custard and fish sticks. Oh, custard is awesome. Cut, well, well, hold on. What are you calling cut? Like custard is like dessert. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, but well, you know, I never see it here. Really? Hardly ever. Compared oh. to in England, custard goes with everything in yeah, England. Well, yeah, as it should, because it's see, amazing. So is that an actual thing, custard and fish sticks? That's Doctor Who. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Rhubarb okay. crumble and custard is, is, my, oh. is one yeah, of the great things. What do we things. got? Where'd you bid? You you bit here. No, I was just yeah. picking up yours to look at. Oh, look gotcha. Behind. I was okay. behind it. Okay. Yeah, no, I was trying to see. I so I could go to that brown um, or the uh, green or the green or the. But other either brown. way, you then pocket the other one. Oh no, the no, green no. doesn't because yeah, the green. green. No, no, if you went to green, it would pocket the green. No, it because the yellow building would come off after the green action. Well, oh, but I mean, but you could yeah. just end could there. Just you would end it. Oh, which, no. But again, it's a big enough number to where you're not getting away with a cheapie, yeah, right? right? Basically, yeah. right? Yeah. I guess the question is, how much do I care about um, this? I uh, I sure why not? Was 72, 73. I got a I got a bump of one over there. So that's that's got one of the um, one wild, of the wild discs. Nerds. Yep. One right there. Uh, so there are, there's a white space next to it and a white space next to it. Facts. And yes, Adam, thank you for the correction. So the plus one discs is every disc that's on your avatar. So both the, uh, both the uh, patron disc, the A, B, C, and D, any excess neighborhood discs as well, or, or the plus ones, actually. Okay, so. Oh, well, the plus ones also, plus, how does that? I guess they would just add plus two, theoretically, if you had two of them. Oh. Well, I have two options to outbid that. See, and if Martin wins this, he wins this essentially for free with the 33. Wait, has, 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 yeah. has Martin passed? He is not. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the Sorry, yeah, thing, of course. Yeah, you uh, could just you know, take that. I could take that with my ninety-four. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, Which is the Arrow One Hammer, right? And yeah. I'm, I'm looking and thinking. I don't think I've. I'm not. I'm going to leave it. Pass on the responsibility to you to stop him from uh, gobbling up that bee. Done. <laughs> so I win that. Nobody can outbid me because there's nothing adjacent. Boom! Yeah. I win that. Okay. So I'll take that. I take the bee. There we go. And if I may, please see the B value. And y'all look down real quick. 
There you go. That's the bees. Okay, thank you. There are three, four, five, eight, right? Three, uh, four, five, eight. How many? Three, four, five, eight. Yeah, three, four, five. Uh, I said four to eight. Three to eight, right? So three, four, five, eight. Okay. Um, all right. So I can start the bidding now. It was birds custard for me, for I knew. That was all we ever had as kids. What is, I don't what, think what's the? Is it's there... a powdered thing that you mix with milk and. So is that like cocoa? Like, but I, I, don't, I don't know. It was just, I mean, it, put it like this. It was sufficiently straightforward that even my mother couldn't mess it up. Ouch. Uh, yeah, I've had plenty of custard, but I have no, I, I, I don't know what's in it. I don't know no. like what it's composed, like what it's yeah. for. Uh, it's, it's like, like you're supposed to use it's eggs, like I think. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I, I have made it a long time ago without milk, yeah, maybe. But, but I grew like, up with the packet. Uh, all right, I'll go ahead and start the bidding here with a 31. And oh, again, it's got to be adjacent, exciting. so it's got to be the white or Thank any you, of Ryan, that stuff around there. That. And uh, let's go ahead and go there. So a couple of thoughts on this. So strategy-wise, not that we're going to talk heavy strategy tonight or anything, but by starting there, it, I don't anticipate to win it, obviously, right? But what I've done is I've helped Martin the Younger out a little because I no one's going to win that. Right, because as long as somebody outbids me there, that spot's going to be available for him to be able to get both sides of that bridge. He doesn't need both sides of the bridge. That's that right. So you, you're right. It doesn't matter. You're right. Carry on. All right. Good enough. I was right. wondering so, if that was helping me, but okay. right. Yeah. <laughs> Last game. My bad. I don't really. I don't like. Uh, do I? Uh, mm. Trying to figure out, why trying you trying to figure out which direction to go in. Sorry. Nothing. I was looking for my pointer. Yeah. Oh, couldn't find it. It was hiding behind the remote. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's, let's just take a 32 and put it over in which direction? How to, um, let's go this way. All right, let's see if Martin wants to put the hammer down. That's emphatic. I do not wish to put a hammer down. <sighs> Yeah, I'm debating. Yeah, you know what? I will. I, I'm normally I sandbag, right? And, and because bidding power, but higher numbers are bidding power, right? But I am gonna go ahead and there. Uh -huh. So because Martin has already uh, passed, that is the actual hammer. So that's it. My thinking on this is it's an island, and yep. it's gonna score twice. That's five points. You know. Uh, Potentially, I should say. Um, so yeah, I will go ahead and there. And now, because that's a green one, that's gonna go there. So now any of my green spaces that I'm, or neighborhoods that I'm in, then uh, gonna score three points. Yellows, which I have two of them right now, or two points a piece, so obviously I probably want some more yellow uh, discs out there. Thank you. All right. But things may come to those who wait, but You're right. not those who wait too late. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, bridges don't matter. Got to remember that. Uh, let's go ahead and start the uh, the 21 over here on the white area. And boom, done. And that's a C that's behind it. There we go. What was that 20, 21? 21, yep. All right. Can you put this on the green area that's adjacent? Thank you. All right, so that leaves me th three options, of which I do like one. So our scoring is chains and windmills. Many windmills in the area. Okay. There are, but I'm only going to go up to 24. All right. Martin the Elder. Remember, there's the bridge up there that goes over to the left island. Mm, there is. And it does share a side with the white there as well and as the, the yellow. yellow. Yep. <laughs> well, I just kind of feel like I might as well plop a 34 down just on the off chance, but. 
I'm not really sure. Windmill grab. Yeah, it's windmills. Oh, actually, yeah. Well, maybe, uh, maybe. Actually, let me uh, let me do what I did last time. Then raise the price on the windmill. Seems reasonable. I mean, it's two points, right? Yeah. Um, I pass. I'm good with that. I, I'm not interested. Am um, I? Well, hold on. No. Hold on. No, I, I'm done. I pass. Um, let's see. So I got the green or the white neighborhoods. I'm not going to do the white neighborhood, clearly. Uh, oh, no. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't do that. Uh, oh, no, that would be fine, actually. Um, let's pass. Okay, so it's down to the Martins. Pass. Hmm. Okay. So he gets the A, gets the windmill points, the windmill. but that'll score I'll into the air. to look at the A's. And y'all, y'all are playing from my point of view, so no, we do, you don't get to see what the A is because I don't have any A's. I can tell you, it's really, really good. <laughs> it's probably a nine, ten, maybe twelve pointer. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. All right, good. All right, where are we going? Well, yes, questions, questions. Where to go? Well, chains are good in this game. It's so I hear. That's what it says. So I could try and uh, see if chains I can... per island, to yeah. be, as a reminder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I could try and uh, that would argue for going on the same island to kind of encourage a bit of chain action. Um, do I go with something small? Maybe I would, uh, well, if I go small, then of course it's not likely to be adjacent by the time it finishes. Um, but if I went small here, then that might be curious. Okay. I don't know if that's a good play or not, but it's a play. Uh, okay, so let's see. I mean, ideally, going on green would be good for me, right? Because already worth three points. Getting more green markers, not terrible. Can't go to the yellow spot, which would be great, cause, well, because I have other yellows, but I kind of like that one. So let's go ahead and jump it up. Let's go ahead. I'm good with that. We'll go 61 there. And mm. yeah, options. Um, I'm not sure I care about this. So I will pass. There's, pass. No, there's no Zeppelin there. Or there's no uh, windmill there. So there's not. Um, let's see. So. It does open your adjacency option. It does open up an adjacency option for me. Uh, I, I, but see, and I don't mind from a standpoint of if he wants to win it for sure, it's an 81 because I can't outbid him. But if he goes 71, I could always go 72. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's a big enough number. Like, I feel like he earned it then. He didn't get it for cheap, right? Right. Could or would are two different things, though. Yeah. <laughs> Just. Yeah. Mm, do I want to kind of push that for a... Uh... And I do know what the bees are worth, right? So if you were to go, like, to the brown area, then that white bee over there might not be terrible for me. Right. I'm actually going to try with the... Okay, let's go with a bit of adjacency action then. Does he want to play 72? That's the question. I do not want... No, I do not. I pass. That's it. All right. Okay, that means I got a white. Um, not on any whites yet. I right. got a brown and a yellow, two different colors, of course, which I'm sure is not ideal, but there we are. And to be clear, for this one with chains, it says score three prestige for each island that you have three adjacent yes. structures, meaning for that reason, it wouldn't help you for that one, right? right? So just to be clear, okay. even though it's adjacent, it's on a different island. Yep. So if you had two chains on the same island, it would still only count once. Correct. Time. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Well, I'm going to do something small on the basis it's going to be outbidded again. Uh, well, sticking with white might be, of course, a thing to do. We're staying on that island now, aren't we? Mm. Um, hmm. All right, let's slow and low. 
that is the tempo. He's going the wrong way. <laughs> that was a 31. Yep. Ooh, do I just... Do, do I, I mean, this? it is a windmill. It right? is a windmill. Yeah, I'll, I, will, I will do a moderate jump. I'm going to do jump this. To the here. here we go. It is adjacent to the brown, so you all can see. It's, there we go. Adjacent to two yellows and brown. Yep. It's cheap for a windmill. I'm loath to pass, but I don't know if I want any of the spaces next to it. So, C, a D, or a green. I am on a green one, so that yellow space with the green mm -hmm. leaf might be nice. But I am going to wince and pass. Yeah, I don't really feel I want to stick my 81 on any of those neighboring spots. Of course, it will give Schrade a windmill unless Edward decides to uh, trump him on the windmill. But, yeah, I'm, I think I'm okay with that, because I really don't like any of those options next to it. None of them are really exciting me at all. So, I shall pass. So, here's my dilemma. I have a 61 and a 72, but my problem is, if I were to go to that one right there, I have this, and I will, but it's ah, it's on a different island, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. So maybe I started. Okay, I talked myself into it. Huh. Um, so we got green with the green token, the green with the D, and is it adjacent to the white? It is not. Oh, you're going green or green. Right, green or green? Green, green with pass. Green oh. or, yeah. Um, or I could just wait a little bit. Yeah, I'll pass. Okay, so that's me with the 61. So I get the C. And, and would you like to see the C? I absolutely would love to wait for it, see the C. Look down, y'all. Okay. All right, good. There's the C. Okay. And you can always, re you know, look the, at those again if you have the memory of a gnat. Hi, present, count of four. Um, okay, well. All right, let's... Uh, Let's go and come strong, shall we? I think reasonably strong to get things started. We'll go right there. So it's either brown over onto the uh, north or northwest island or green on the center island. All right, well, sure. I will jump up a level. And it's wild, right? It is wild. Mm -hmm. And even in a four-player game, no, not all of the different neighborhoods are, uh, are chosen by the end of the game. Have a good one, Muhammad. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, Jay. I'm trying to back less Kickstarters, but the production on this has pulled me in. Damn you, Roxley! <laughs> evil minds. Those Canadians can be pretty evil. Seriously, but... But nice about it. Yeah, they're very, very nice right. about being evil. Hey, I will pass. Ah, well, it's a windmill. Next and to it, it yeah. And, and I just a. said A, and we got Canadians playing. So how can I, how can I resist? I elect to not take part, <laughs> aka. I have a seventy-two. So we have that brown or white. Brown or white. Um, and I could. I have to do an A two. Actually, brown, white, or white. Oh, yeah? Yep. Good call. Across the bridge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, now nah, pass. All right. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, well. Thinking those A tokens might be the good one since Martin's already scooped two of them up. He was eager to get that one. You would think that, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely double thinking them. <laughs> <laughs> I 
They're wonderful, the A tokens. Honestly, they're really wonderful. It's your. Oh, it's me again, isn't it? Hmm. Well, it's not adjacent or anything, which is kind of silly. Well, it's its own island, remember, so. Exactly. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Trevor says, we're very sorry about that. See, exactly. Thank you, Trevor. Hey, now's a good time to say it. If y'all, uh, if you're new here, or even if you're not, appreciate your thumbs. You'll probably hear that from Martin later. Uh, subscribe. Welcome to the channel, all you new folk. Mm. By the way, Paul, Adam, I need to get you all your uh, Golden Elephant Award. Um, you know, a certain pandemic hit, and we haven't seen them since. So I mean, I'm going to mail that out to them. Normally I hand it mm. off to them. But. I'm going to go small. Or do I want to go slightly larger and uh, see what happens with this chain business? I think I'm going to go slightly larger and push the chain. Which way do I want to push it? Green, white, or, well, white I've got two, already got two watsits for, and it will give me a yellow watson. I'm on two yellows. So maybe let's, uh, let's see if people will just let me have that. Oh, I like your chances, said no one ever. Um... Yeah, I'll pass on this. And they got the golden elephant for Brass Berminer. Mm. The only option for me is the white. Correct. I will pass. No, I do not want to use my hammer for that. Excellent. So you can have it. I'll take the green There's with no the green, one. right? And mm -hmm. he's got two adjacent. So we're both competing a bit for this one, but there we are. Um, Golden Elephant was won by Brass Birmingham. Mm -hmm. A fine game. I don't think I'm going to win it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think you can be fairly certain of that. <laughs> you know what, though? I'm going to go ahead and do that. Got to be worth a try, eh? Mm. I mean, no one is hugely motivated on that one. So I thought, eh, hey, you know, maybe. The only bid is the brown on the brown. Right. Which does have synergy. It does. It does. Well, there went that. Mm, yeah. <laughs> there was that. I could have done like the 72 where the 54 was because, right, adjacency there, but I was like, mm. well, definitely not going to use the hammer on that, so I'm, I'm out of this one. <sighs> it's not adjacent for Edward. It is not. I elect to pass. So, what letters have you seen A, B, and C? So, I could look at D. You could. Well, provided you win it. But right, right. I have a 63. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, please put that on the, uh, on, on the uh, brown 63. and see if I win that. Yep. So, it's back to me. Yep. You got the green down south, or north, I guess. I passed. All right, yours. For the, I got you. Thanks. And will you hand him the D, please? <laughs> there we go. Oops. So, there's that. And there. All right, Shrey, what you got? Um, can you move my building so it's not half in the water, please? Thank you. Is Structural it, integrity is important. Right, you're fine. Okay. Property worth more. There's two buildings in Boston like that. Yeah. <laughs> Make for good fishing, yeah. though, underneath. Mm -hmm. Like, if it were up on pillars, like, yeah, underneath, oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah, that was there. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure there you go. Right. Yeah, um, right, true. How about Isn't it brushes and the curling? I mean, there's hammers involved in curling. No, that the ha well, the hammer is anytime you have the last of something like in something oh, like so that. Oh, so it would right? count in that. There's a oh, a shuffleboard or or, yeah. uh, or or crocodile. The hammer, yep. the last okay. one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Makes yep. sense, I guess. I'm not familiar enough with these games to know. Yep. Curling. Really? 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 That's just mean. 
Why would you give him the points? Oh, I forgot that. Though. I, you can you take it back. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. Take it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, hang on. Hang on. Like, if, if Martin Fowler had done that, that would have been really kind of him. But that's just like trying to block me out for principle's sake. Meaning, if he goes there, yeah, 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 then I, I didn't, Martin I, the Younger could go there and just, yeah. Don't do that. That's a pocket. Yeah, yeah, why would you want to hurt Edward? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody at this table is interested in earth ending Edward. He, well might not care if I, he honestly might not care if I get the white one here. Yeah, I don't well, mind doing that. Don't okay, mind. going it that way is better. At least there's an escape route. Yep. Plus, the C is worth at least three points right there, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. False start. Martin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only option would be to go to that Browns. Spot. Correct. Yep. Um, if I go to the Browns spot with... You know what? I'll do this. I'm not excited enough to compete, so I'm going to snooze. Uh, I was about to say, you... Okay. If you put the 51 there, you'll probably get outbid by Edward. If not, you'll get a windmill for two points for your 50, which is pretty true. good. That's if true. not, you let Edward put the 70 there, and he might not get outbid for it. Edward's not terribly motivated by that spot. Yeah, it has It has windmill. the windmill. The windmill's worth two points, and it would give me my, my th yeah, maybe he is. Yeah, right, fair enough. Really? I'm talking about myself in third person? All right. <laughs> so, wait, where are we going to do it? Oh, you so passed? You are a pass. You, you I, are, I did oh. pass. Yeah, I passed before Martin tried Sorry, to you're right. Okay. Shrade's got wow. 73. And that would put him uh, two adjacent on. to each other. I mean, <sighs> it's interesting. I don't know whether. Uh... In fact, it would give you the pocket as well. It would not. No. Well, no, oh, oh yeah, if he, you're correct. Oh, no, it wouldn't, because that would be gone. Right, Sorry, yeah. You're quite right. It would not be a pocket. Although certainly things would be getting quite tight down there. Is that what I want to do, though? But be, white and brown really doesn't excite me. And I, I get that, because brown and white, like... Mm -hmm. Wow, but if I don't do this... I mean, Shrey's motivated because it's a J saying it's a win. Yeah, no, I pass. I pass. So Shrey, I assume, will be interested in that. Yeah, I, I will put something down. I'm just not sure which number yet. Um, I could do, so I don't think it makes a difference with, with between a 73 and a 70 and an 82 since Martin only has an 83 above it and then the, his big one. So I'll go with the 73. So do I really want to put an 83 down on that yellow one? I do not. I pass. 73 is you. Thank you. What would I get? Oh, I get a brown. Okay, okay, sure. Sure, why not? All right. Where to now? Uh, interesting. I wonder if you put the 51 down with you, would have got the windmill really cheap, or would have, other press would have been forced to use a higher bid on the non-windmill spot. No, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Kira! I, I, the, the windmills, I, I must admit, I don't always spot that they're there. Uh, could you please put... What number do I want to put down? Um, oh, what do I put down? On ours, there's the stickers. Makes a chain for all three of you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in the general vicinity. I'm just trying to figure out which number. I'm going to go in that green D. Ooh, which number okay. do I put down? There's literally three spaces, three bids in that area, right? So uh, I started and then it continues from there. Well, it's not a the the green D is not adjacent to you. I, to I the, understand that to the yellow building. It may not come back to you, right? I but, understand that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I'm like trying to figure out like, do I want, so 54, you have a 62, 83, 91. Uh, 
Or I could do the other side, actually. I could do the green with the yellow. That might make more sense. It is it just... All right, yeah. Um, 54, please, on the, on the green in the corner. Green in the corner? Yeah. Okay. Oh, coming back the other way. Okay, mm. all right. Pass. Martin the Elder. Oof. Now there's a fault. I could hammer that. That would guarantee me that little spot. Yep. And, maybe um, and two majority. pockets, right? Yep. And potentially majority on that island as well. Well, it, yeah, it would be hard to not, well, especially since we're dropping two pockets in there as well. Pockets meaning just dead ends to I've where you can two dead ends. I'm the only one I can play. I basically would put the 23 and the 34 down. Right, yeah. yeah. Which is kind of tempting. It's got to admit that does feel like that's got to be a good move. Two greens. I'll get a yellow. I've got two buildings. I'll get two yellows. So I've got two buildings on yellow. So that would be kind of nice. You would have, uh, yeah? You'd probably have to drop yeah, it. Yeah, it, yeah it's, it just feels too good. Yeah. Right. Yep, that's you. It's yours. Well, thank you. So I take the yellow. Then I go bid here. Oh dear, nobody else can outbid me. Right, because it's. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Yep, yep it's blocked locked, off. Yep. Locked and off. then can do same the same here with as well. the green right there. And you get to look at the Find out D. what uh, D is. Uh, who else knows about D? I, I uh, yeah, oh, Shrey does. Shrey knows about D. Well, yeah, yeah. You were keeping that one to yourself, weren't you? <laughs> All right, so now I mean, Martin... I get to go again. <laughs> keep in mind, the era ends when Martin yeah. wins, when he places his last building, not with the bid of it. He has Not necessarily. To win it. Someone else could get their, rid of their last one before he gets rid of his. Yeah. He, uh, he, the, yeah. uh, my point is, he's the club. That's, yep. that's the what closest. I was alluding to. Correct. I'm the closest. So, where to go? Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, anybody going in here, of course, those is a pocket to the other person. So, I, I, I would love for you to do so, that. <laughs> so I don't think anybody wants to go actually in, in either of these spots because then uh, it's whoever goes next is guaranteed yeah. um, doing basically what I did here and, and grabbing one and then pocketing the other. Well, Stray has the hammer, so he could very well do that, slap his hammer down and then grab the other one. For he his could. Team. Yeah, because yes. with the 92, mm -hmm. that's true. Yep, he can do that if he wishes to do it. Um, and of course, if that would also give him the triple, mm -hmm. so it makes a lot of sense for him to do that. He's just got to win. But he's got to win one first, right? Exactly. So you, that's up to you two. You're going to have to stop him winning because I don't have any. He doesn't want me to have it because if I do and then get the pocket, he doesn't get his triple on that island. So he's highly. I mean, there's, there's right. just that. Oh, so it, Edward? Sorry, doesn't want that to happen because it. Well, clearly, <laughs> I don't. That's why I'm like, hey, <laughs> Martin, come on. So I, maybe, I, maybe, it matter, I wanna, ride, maybe I just want to kind of branch right. out a little bit. Mm. Yeah. I don't know how Can motivated y'all would be to do that. Yeah, let, let's pop the, this. It's a nice little windmill. It's next to me. Um, I mean, if they do want to let me have it, that would be kind of nice. Well, I suspect they're not. But, um, yeah. but it would also finish this round, and I'm sure you'd love that to happen. Actually, Edward wouldn't mind, because he's got five points for that. The others may not want this round to end before they get their big building out, of course. I actually have ten points right now. Um, that would be actually really, I mean, it's never going to happen. Do I, I don't think I want to bid on it currently. No, I pass. I pass. I have a 72, but I, I elect not to. Shrey? All right, I'll bid on this. Which way do I go? So it's uh, green or white. Yep. Yeah, I'll go to the white, please. Thank you. Martin, the... Younger has, what, three options? Green, yellow, brown? The yellow of which would be perhaps a little risky. Because then, then that, that allows somebody to claim that. And by somebody, we mean Shrek. Shrek. Really not risky at all. It'd be a decent move because Shrek would have to use an 82 to outbid me. And if he didn't, then I would get this for on the cheap. Mm. Yeah. Yep. That, that, you know, okay, well, it depends which definition of risk you want to go for. But yes. yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Um, yeah, that would probably be worth it for a uh, 62, right? or even even maybe you've 83, and that would uh, force him to either put the big building in, or you get it on the cheap. So this is really interesting, seeing two players that are pretty not not a lot going on with them so far. Meaning Martin the Younger and Shrey. Yeah, I'm used to seeing one, but not necessarily two sandbag like this. So. I'm, 
curious to see. Well, I was thinking of sandbagging, but then things just kind of turned into something else. I guess that's me, huh? You already passed. Yeah, I did pass. Yeah, passed. correct. I did pass. On. Yep. Um, so that white spot mine. on the center island's available. Mm. Yep. It's kind of uninteresting. I mean, it's it's. So if I was to put my eighty-two on that yellow, Mara could just. Would you pull up at your eighty-three in that little alcove there? I don't know if you would. I don't know if I want to put my 82 there. Nah, I don't mind this. Wow, okay. Mm. Back into the center island. Under the shadow of Edward's tall building. The only thing I could bid on would be that green. The green, the, yep. I passed it. Yep. Hmm. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, you got it. Here's your opportunity yeah. to get your. I will yeah. do that. That's, I mean, that's this. Oh, no. That's horrible. Oh, no. Can you grab that with your little? Oh scissors? yeah, my my. Oh, you're being cruel to Edwards. I mean, so the entire reason I that I. No, I can't get it. Oh. I knocked it in further too. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. But we do have tweezers. Oh, no, no, that's, no, that's mine. I know whose it is. <laughs> I mean, the, glory so, to Rome, dude. So, I mean, the entire reason I uh, I uh, I let Martin take all three of those was so I could do that, yeah, right? You were never getting that because it was either Trey or I was. Gonna yeah. Get can I coffee. get Can I get this? Look at the C, please. That was just mean. All right. Um, all right, now what? Well, Shrey is going to be reluctant to get more brown tiles. I see we'll move some brown tile points. Or I could just all the, all the brown tiles in the night. Or you, or you could go bonkers on brown tiles. Yeah. And grab them all, them all! Um, how about, I think we need to change the balance in this area over here. So do I go, I go this way. Actually, no, let's go. Here. I'm just gonna take this as you're just being mean to be mean. <laughs> well, like, we, I'm can't, not it personal. we can't. We can't. Like just to re 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 on on in this case right now, uh, you both are getting five points for this. Damn skippy, and, we are. And, and I don't need that to happen. So, one <laughs> <laughs> of you doesn't get five points. <laughs> or, or, oh, uh, actually, yeah, because Martin has a middle. Martin Fowler, I mean, the elder, and you have a uh, middle size, like a size, a tier two, if you will. Let's see if we can cut that word off in your house. You're just so mean to this guy. What's, hey, if y'all are in the you? Boston area and want to be on heavy cardboard, we, we have some slots coming available. That'd be great. Okay. Just uh, shoot me an email. Uh, do I want to uh, Martin and Shrey go to hell at gmail.com. <laughs> um, Okay. I haven't been cruel to you for once. I didn't. I was. I, I, <laughs> this one, not this one. Well, I have a for long once. history of being cruel to Edward, yeah, of course. So. <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh, I couldn't have started that there. That, that, right. Oh, you Sorry. couldn't, you yeah. cheating son of a. Sorry. No, okay. thank, thank you. I, I, the, the, yeah, yeah, no. I, uh huh. It's pretty clear. So Sorry, either. I'm bitter still about what happened up there. <laughs> so if it's not there, then I think it's here. Yeah. <sighs> Hmm. Oh, no, yeah. I'm, Wind I'm out of it. Windmill, okay. Windmill. I'm out of it. I am not. There we go. I'm just angry. <laughs> <laughs> you were last time we played this, too. There's something to be said for consistency. Nope. Pass. Oh. All right. Cheap windmill. I mean, I can't play three against one. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Wait.
We got it figured out. Thanks, y'all. There's nothing I can do about that, so I'm passing. I mean, I, I just I might be petty. Trouble. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm okay with it, too. I'm I'm past. Oh, I'm out. I can't. Mm. Do I care to outbid? I'm not sure that I do. So I think I just pass and let it work on that. Okay. I mean, I could start over here, but I'm never going to win it with those. I understand that. But someone else won't win it either. Cause yeah, win. no, no. Or, or I could go yeah. somewhere that I am less interested in. Um, but you know what? Honestly. There? Really there? Yeah, there. That's so blah. Oh, I have a 32. I can beat your 31. You can. But it's also a wild, so. Ugh. But I know you're, nobody is, like, terribly interested in that spot. I mean, I guess you could go that, but even so. No, I'll pass. I think Martin's more interested than I am. I'm Martin, sure. Martin G. Yeah, I, well, I like that because I think that guarantees me the pocket in the middle with that. Oh, shoot, I didn't notice that. Well, you could have, I should have gone down here. Yep. So, that. Blocks that down. Glad y'all are. Yeah, that's that's you. Nobody can outbid you. Yeah. yeah, that's you. I didn't see it either, honestly. So. And then I think it lets me place the twenty-four there. Yep. Oh, look, there's nothing adjacent. I get that as well. And that makes you triple. Good check. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, what I like to do. And it is guaranteed him this island, too. Yes, it has, yeah. At least for the first era. This is terrible. So I could cause uh -oh. the round to end right now if I wanted to. The way, yeah. they, like, placing my hammer here, then my low one here, and then this 83 is still the highest, and then place another one and cause the error to end. So I could just win three immediate bids if I so choose, as long as I create a pocket that guarantees my 33 a win. There are several ways to do that. Can you, go, you can't go dark. Really, no, you could not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you're, uh, you're right, I can't. So can I guarantee myself a pocket? The answer is yes, by placing the bid here and then taking that one. Right. I mean, um, might yeah. as well. I mean, it's what the cool kids are doing. Uh, I don't know that there's another way to guarantee my... S oh, there is another way to guarantee myself a pocket. And a nice way at that, I think, because it guarantees me an island scoring. So mm. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do yeah. this here. Yeah. Ooh. Which Right. I, I saw it, but I wasn't going to point it out. Yep. And then there's a pocket there. Yeah, so that cost me that this. five points. Oh, boy. And wow. They're really, out, they're really going for you. And this is a win, and I can, if I place it on this island, I could guarantee myself that That's one, too. That's yep. literally the only place you could go if you yes. do. But you would get it. You would get well, it. if I go here, too, I could also guarantee myself at least a tie here and five points yep. as well. So um, it's those two. I would like to, just for complete sake... Glory to Rome. <laughs> <laughs> this is ex uh, that's exactly the way I ended. Glory the last to Rome game. to you, yeah. just on general principle. <laughs> glory to Rome to you, yeah. and glory to Rome to you. Uh, I'm on one, two green spaces, two browns, and two whites. I'm pretty spread out. I need greens to be worth more. I want to get the five. 
points. So I think I do this. There you go. That's the end of the uh, era. All right. So first things first, island control. Brown and blue are tied five points apiece. So ties are friendly. So bottom two. Yep. Bottom two. Five. Okay. Nothing for this one because ain't nobody there. And here for the center, tied for there. And then of those, the tiebreaker then goes the next. So obviously the other Martin. They wrapped me up the five points for both scoring now and at the end of the game. So it was it was ten. It yeah, was it was quite I much. saw it. Yeah. I just wasn't going to point it out. Yeah. Forgive me. Then the south uh, east three versus two. Five more. And over here we got uh, big, big. Then we got medium, medium. And we got medium, medium. So brown and brick are, uh, brown, sorry, brick and cream. Yellow and brown are tied there. So we got a little, two littles versus one little. Brown's got it. So five points for there. Okay. All right. Now panorama cards. So chain. Everybody gets three, except Teal. It's all right, you'll score points in the next round. Anyway. You will score points. Just think how wonderful <laughs> teacher you're, you're at at the moment. <laughs> so windmills, two points apiece. Uh, what do we got? We got one, sorry, one for... Yeah, this, I think that's the, only, that's the only for... Blue slate. Okay, or gray, whatnot. Gray. Yeah. Yellow has one here. That's it. Just so that. And brown's got one, two. 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 Okay. All right, so era two structures come out. So everybody bring out your era two. I'm going to pick our wonder, too. Wonder, wonder. And we have to choose our wonder cards. Yeah, mine were not very good. All three of them were not exciting. This one is pretty horrible. Uh, all right, so for mine, while they're debating, um, uh, I mean, yeah. I don't think I want the hammer. It comes down to these, and honestly, this is already, well, that's only six points right now. Potentially will be more. There's not going to be a ton up there. Honestly, I think I go for the lynch, so I'm going to discard those. Let me have the, your discards. And you all want to talk about what ones you, sure. you all chose. Go for it. So I picked Laboka. I think that means the mouth or something like that. But uh, on the island where this wonder is constructed, score three for each different neighborhood on which you have a structure. And I've already got three colors on that neighborhood. So if I build my wonder itself on a yellow, I'll score the maximum 12 points I guess I could get for this. All right. Uh, I've gone with the atelier. So that's uh, the one that counts as a tall building. Score four for each island in which you have a tall building. So that's going to motivate me to try and spread these two tall buildings on two different spots and put the wonder on a third to try and get the 16 maximum. But I'm guaranteed at least eight because, well, as long as I don't put my wonder here. That's going to be tricky considering how full it is. Yep. And I, have, try. I have Munch's, Munch's Haven. Uh, All the way to the right. And, uh, and when I place it, I get to look at two of the uh, patron hexes and then I score three for each different type of patron I, uh, disc I have. Okay. So you get six of it. Yeah. Yep. To a maximum of 12. Yep, right, yeah. The other one, the other two I had were a little bit more interesting. One was like score two points for each unoccupied neighborhood next to this wonder. So since you can only construct next to a spot that you already have, one of them is already going to be occupied. And I wasn't seeing how that was going to score more than four or six. And the other one was like score exactly eight points if you meet this criteria. It was a little bit. All right. Mm. So, initiative number. I have six. Twelve. Sixteen. Fourteen. So I begin. All right. Well. Oh, 
what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Um, it's the lowest number on the initiative? Yes. Okay. Look there, there. I mean, that wouldn't be terrible. That isn't what I want. I want that, so it's there. Um, that can't start there. Looking around at the various patron discs and everything. So how many A's are out so far? Two? Yeah, just two. Two. Okay. Mr. Fowler's been snatching here. them up eagerly. They're, they're there. Yeah, it's a Canadian game. you got to go for the A's. I will... I think the A's are from Oakland. Mm. That's an yeah. interesting option. Um, 42? Ah, uh, yeah, no, I don't, hmm. I will pass on this. It's dangerous to bid on. Because if I bid on it, and then Martin bids on that, if Martin wins that, he's going to create two pockets, both of which would be his. Mm -hmm. Or if I bid on this one and Mr. Fowler passes and Edward bids on that one, he's going to create two pockets, both of which would be his as well. Unless you, if he bids high enough, with like 102, yes. Or 113. Uh, you always have your, um, well, I guess you could put his wonder down. So, so wonder for two points for every, what is it? Uh, for every structure adjacent. Do I care oh. about that brown spot? I don't. I pass. Hmm. I have the same puzzle. I could uh, play something, but as you say, that opens up a nice spot. Yeah. So that's, that's actually three. Yeah. It'd almost be worth it to slap a wonder down there, and then you get a chain of three, so you build it off the two lowest things on either side. Mm. But it's not something you can do, only Edward can do it. No, because yes, he has to hammer on me in this situation. 113 versus 111. 111, yep. Yeah. So I think I pass. I think that's got to be the best thing to do because otherwise it's just too. He, I mean, he, it'd be yeah. foolish for him not to throw a hammer down. I mean, unless I want to use the wonder, but I don't want to use the wonder because I want to get my big buildings out before I use my wonder. So I pass. Okay, well, there's that. So 42, I get the plus one. So plus one's worth two points right now for mm -hmm. me. So there's that. Um. That was cruel, Mr. Peters. Very cruel. Mm. I'm used no, to it. Well, no, well, no, no, we're just being nice to Edward now in the secondary. He can have that one for a 42. That's... <laughs> <laughs> That's it, yeah. Boy, they're trying to push my buttons tonight. Well, you know you can't be sarcastic, so... <laughs> trying not to be. Thanks for helping with the therapy, guys. <laughs> we're all here for you. Clearly. We're just being um, I don't know where you go. Oh, interesting. <coughs> do a couple of different things. So if I did that, hmm. I really like the wonder buildings. Hmm. Where is this? This is not ideal. Your wonder building looks off. It looks like yeah, come over here. the arms are extended for, for something. I'm going to make mistakes and just say to heck with it. So let's go and make mistakes. Ooh, offering up Shrey, a juicy little pile. 
And what would I get out of it is the problem, right? Exactly. What am I and Trey's get? not motivated because he's already got his chain of three on that island, get, well, as I, is Brown. What it gets me is a bunch of spaces that are not that interesting. I don't know that it gets you, though. Uh, he does get that, yeah. He gets, oh, yeah, he would, yeah, yeah. if he dropped... If you drop a uh, yellow green, yeah. two brown discs. Uh, well, the two brown discs that will send him I'll into the. I'll do it. I'll do it. I mean, okay, I, throw the winner out. out. Okay. I, I can't score a second chain on it. I'm surprised, but okay. Okay. So the wonder okay. comes out. Now you score your wonder. What is it? Uh, two. Uh, I get to look at two of the patron discs. So I look at A and B, and so then you, I score um, three points per type of patron disc I have, which is two. So I get six points. Six points and for custard. Oh wait, which you can. Uh, which one did you? Uh, 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 well, I handed them to you like this. I don't know what. I know which one I use, because <laughs> I've seen it. Okay, I think it's this one. Uh, okay. How do we confirm that? Uh, I'm well, you give me the one you think is A, and I'll tell you if it is. When I got this. Yes, one, that's A. Okay. Right. All right. All right. Thank you. I, but I told you, A is wonderful. It's and the I'm absolutely good. best bean, beans on toast. All right. Oh, and that one or two goes away. Oh yeah. And then, since there's three pockets that are right there, I'll just put these three out in those locations. It doesn't matter which, so grab the discs for them, if you would, yep. please. Your discs up. Thank you. I figure it, it, uh, it gets me the eight for that. I'm curious why you did it with your wonder instead of your 114. Uh, because you could have placed your wonder. Oh, that's true. I could have. For, for but room. it wouldn't have been four pockets for me. But yeah, yeah. yeah. It still right. could have. Like, yeah, I got it. Okay, now what? Well, that was interesting. It was something. Um, and the other, so the, the thing it does is it gets me first place in that region. Uh, uh, that, oh yeah, that that's completely booked up now, isn't yeah. it? North it is. is completely. But it also done. means you're probably not scoring a second chain anywhere else. I mean, there's still a possibility if you get these guys next to each other. Right. Uh, so I want to. I want to. Well, the chain is only worth three points. Yeah. But so, you could have yeah. four chains for 12 True. points. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for... It's used more useful to score. It's like in, it's like in brass, you see. If you score in the canal, then you get effectively double points. So it's important to get those things in early. Um, I'm going to start oh, here. So we can get over into this if if we want if people want the option. Martin. So the only spot uh, well, I could build on the green or the brown. That's correct. Yeah. Oh, there. No, no, can't build on the white. The white already on. The it's already got. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Thank you. The okay. green so has a green and brown. Has a windmill. Yeah. yeah. Which way does he want to go? Hmm. Replace this. Does he want to go higher to get in the corner? But I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to do that. Well, it behooves me to get my tall buildings out so that I can score my big score. So I'm going to go there. And, I mean, it's what the cool kids are doing. Interesting. Uh... Trey and Wonders are the only things that can Edward be Edward has fallen for the fact that I'm saying the A's are so good. Or it's a yellow. Which That's true. So it's interesting. I'm, I'm like thinking, oh, I, I want the brown, but it's not as available to me anymore. Is it's it? eight four points. points. Yeah, well, no, it's four points. The brown yeah, location. Brown location. He wants brown discs. Oh, the, oh, the brown, yeah, discs. Right. Yeah. Sorry, yes. Brown, yep. yeah, you want the discs. Yep. But alternatively, that. I also want white discs because I have three white locations. Mm. I mean, I'm good with that. I don't mind getting it back. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah. Okay. I will. I will do that and let someone use their. Um, I'm not using my wonder. Wonder. Pass. No, I, I want to get my buildings out before I hit my window, so I'm not using right. that. Uh, same. So, right. no. Okay. 
Okay. Um, so, oh, and this one. Uh, I'll probably start with this one. And. and to be clear, it couldn't have gone for the leaf because adjacency. Right. So. Uh, could you put this on the round location above Martin's? Yeah, right there. So only option is green and white, looks like. Yeah, mm. can't cross the lake. It's a prototype, keep that in mind. So eh, all components, colors, graphic design rules, all that is subject to change, y'all. If y'all are enjoying it, like, subscribe, consider supporting the show, patreon.com forward slash HCHQ. Ooh, Certainly big, appreciate it. Big one for the green there. Okay. Well, well I could try tackling it, of course, because that would be nice. Um, Shrey, of course, would fancy that brown token, but he can't beat 103 with his 101, and he's got no wonder. I can beat 103 with my 104. I could go for that yellow. I've already got two discs of yellow, so getting a yellow would be kind of nice. So I'll get a brown token, which is not terribly exciting for me, but potentially the pocket, unless um, Edward or um, Martin wants to use their hammer on that pocket to uh, stop me from getting the green pocket. And then the yellow, what's it? Ah, it just feels just really nice. I think, I think that's a good one to do. Mm. Well, I was interested if Martin didn't bid to bid that. Um, however, because less so about that spot and more for that, which that then feeds that, right? Because the yellow and the yellow disc, so it all makes sense. But the adjacent spot, I mean, I could claim it with my 113, but that, no. And same with the white here, so no, I pass. I'm out. Yes, I could throw my window down yet, but again, it doesn't make sense until I get an opportunity. Um, I, can't, I can't, yeah. So, do I care to go over? If I do, I have four options. Green, brown, light, and white. Thanks for the support, Russ. Cheers. And uh, there's a scoring card, Zeppelin Stone, that has to do with Zeppelins as well. So th that's probably to answer the question in chat. What does that? Because it doesn't. Right. Yeah, I don't think all, 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 so, I, th yeah. I think the all, the all the Zeppelins don't follow that same pattern. I right. Think. It's, but, it's right. just um, it does help. Yeah. Sort of. Across where, the, where there's definitely a, a point. Yep. I do like. I do not, Fernando. All we have are the deluxe buildings. Yeah, everything here is deluxe. I think just, I mean, obviously, like, these aren't linen finish for the prototype, and um, like the key's not metal. I know that was unlocked as a stretch goal and stuff like that. No, we just got the. Uh, Deluxe buildings right now. So I think I do that for the pocket I'm going to get. Huh. Interesting. Where is the pocket? It's going to be when this comes off. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm okay. Get a pocket with a windmill. Well, and that's, and that, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That's, it. that's it. Yep. Yep. Took me a second to see that, so. Oh, it's not a pocket. No, it's not a pocket. Okay. It's easy to fool yourself yeah. in, the, in this game. It is. Not a pocket at all. But hey, I got, to, got you to use your... Uh, the big one. Your big so one. So I don't have the hammer, huh? I have Edward has made a hammer. hammer, but I don't think that it's a one, huge if, And I have the two next big ones after Edward, which is a nice position to be in, I think. Oh, 
is my secret objective. Do I remember <laughs> back then? Um, I think I will do this. Mm. Mm. Tricky, tricky. It's kind of less appealing for me to... Uh, but I could go a green in a green spot. That might not be a bad thing. I've already got two greens. Or I'll go for the green anyway, on the basis that it'll give me a third green. Oh, that's great, but it will get me another yellow. What's it? I've got two yellows there. It's a lot less appealing than it was. It would be if I was going there, though. Much less appealing. But, you know, not so bad. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I do, want a, I do want a tall building in each segment. So let's, let's go with green in the green. Uh, I could... I mean, the, the white is now a pocket, right? Because... Uh, Oh yes. That there will be two. There. Uh, no, there will be two pockets. It would. You were. Ooh. Right. If, I didn't if, even if, notice if, that. If Martin wins that. Right. So when uh, I, I pass. Pockets. You gonna I let? Pass. You gonna let Martin take that? Okay. Yeah, I'm not slapping my wonder down in that spot. So that's exactly. Wow. What I'm I will pass. Cool. I mean, obviously, yeah. I can't. I can't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll take it then. I didn't yeah. realize it was that good, but of course it is. So I take that green. I'm gonna get and some then as well. I get. Um, there's nothing around there, so yep. I can bid there, no one can outbid it. Yep. And I can do exactly the same here. Yep. If I wish to. That's an interesting I mean, question. Is there well, a I get a, I get a white building, it's gonna be worth four points to me. Yeah, I mean because it's such a small thing, it's yeah, it's, it's, be it's, worth it's it. hard to pass up a free B with your lowest ones. Even though B's are kind of, you know, boring. B for boring. Okay, well. Get, let's uh, get some movement then. Uh, I think I want to go over to this, this direction because that's weirdly where, where the action is going to be next. I don't want to go here because that just opens up a uh, jump. So let's, let's go here with the encouragement of moving. Hopefully someone will move on to that side of the island. Let me get my fourth build, get a fourth building out. And if not, it's over here and I'll get a fourth building on there. So I'll be happy either way, I hope. The problem I have is I have no middle size. Yeah. Um, I pass. Um, so I can go to the green with a windmill. OK, that's interesting. Two extra points. Or I can go to this brown with a yellow. I have one yellow. Wow. That is unappealing in many ways. I will pass. I pass. Wow. Hmm. I was not expecting to. Nor was I. Oh, well, it's another B. Boring, but you know, there we are. Wow. Hmm. Well, that is interesting. I've got to go again now. Huh. Choices. So the C, the C I haven't seen, but I can figure it out by process of elimination because that was the D, which I do have. So I know what the C's worth. Would be another green. Got two greens or three greens already. So yeah, but uh, I'm not sure it's exciting. Could go for that brown on a yellow. I'm not really super happy with brown. Having another yellow disc would be nice because I've got. Um, three yellows, so that would be that would be worth that would be nice if they allowed me to have that. Unlikely. Um, let's try that. See if anybody's prepared to let me have it. If anyone lets you win with your fifty-one, then with your wonder in your other building, I think you've got the ability to claim the ten-point key as well. Well, Edward has his one thirteen. Sure, but he'll place the wonder. Create oh. a you could create a pocket yeah. by placing the wonder and then potentially... Yeah, no, I'm not going to allow it. Um, so, stray passes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't have a higher. Yeah. Mm. 
And, and to be clear, uh, when y'all are talking about uh, blending into the board, they really don't. No. They, they're, they're crystal clear when you're sitting here at the table, and that's why I moved the camera so y'all can see. Like, they, it's crisp. I think that shows it pretty well. Mm. Yeah, that's, the three dimensions really make a difference. Yeah, it's very much Pass. when you're in person. It's you're passing. I will go here then, and I think that's that's the hammer, effectively. No, well, is it? Edward can go yeah, unless I could use his wonder. I could throw Always my wonder down. Oh, it's one thirteen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Three spots. I work decent. Right now. And it's an A token too. I'm aware. Oh, that was a mistake. Perhaps, I don't know. Are you taking a bet before I make a decision? If you let me. Sure. Hmm. If I did use the wonder, then I would miss out on some points because I won't have got into all the positions that I want to know. However, Shrey knows why I probably want to use the wonder anyway. All right, cheers. I'll take it because I know what the A's are worth. I mean, I think we all knew. Yeah. And uh, what do you, do you, you get points immediately? What is it? Yeah, I get four for each island that I have a tall building, so that will give me 12. Is the Wonder a tall building? Yes, the yes. Wonder counts as a full building. So one, place. two, three, and you said four, yep, 12 so points. So that is 29. And I, I personally, for my request for a stretch goal, would be a, the heavy cardboard Wonder, which of course would be a giant thumb. <laughs> Because we want you to click on your thumbs, like the show, because we need the thumbs. And I, I didn't realize, I've been gone for a month. I just went down to the fridge. There's hardly any thumbs in the fridge. We need the thumbs. Send us your thumbs. For those scoring at home, yes, that is the Martin Fowler, too. Yeah, I, which <laughs> never gets old to me. All right, Martin, you're up. OK. The early thumb gets the worm. And since. The Cuts out of the bag with the A. Uh, right. Um, if you don't help it, and Shrey can't, and I'm not slapping my wonder down on that. Well, I, I mean, I, I'm already out of the yeah. game. I, so it's just, oh, I I, yeah, so it's going to be, do I, I don't know. Um, Five points over here. Huh? Huh? Take the five points. Tallest building. He can't get to that island, though. Oh, there's no bridge, bridge there. Bridge. Bridges that one. Bridges. Sorry, bridges are down there. Okay. Kind of like having the hammer right now, but I guess I have. Hmm, yeah. I want that, though, is the problem. So I want that, that. Oh, very in joke there, Toma. Not comprehensible to people who don't know my brand of software stuff. Um. Yeah, what the hell? Let's it. go ahead and Ooh. do that. Well, well nothing else anybody can do about that. Oh, I could, but I don't Well, unless you're going to use that wonder. Uh, so, Trey passes. Do I want to use my wonder? I think the answer is no, because it'd be worth, like, four points on that island, so I... You would get to take that pocket. Yeah, not very terribly exciting, so I pass. All right, so that's me. Yep. Yep. It's more for the yellow disc more than it is anything. Um... I think 
So if I did that, that allows that. I don't want that. So I'll go there. So like your wonder card, Martin, says this wonder counts as a tall building. Does it otherwise count as a medium building? What do you mean? For what? It's for, a tall building. For, for majority. It's not normally a tall building. But it's a tall building. Yeah, it says it counts as a tall building. Tall building. No, no, that's his a, is a tall building. Right. The question is, is ours... No, it's a non-building. A non -building. Yeah. Oh, That's why it was not. Yeah. So. But it's a question to the... Yeah. Um, uh, I, do we read that as, therefore, the one that counts as a tall building for area majority? Yeah, I, I, I think so, yes, at I least. Okay. That. Okay. I was asking, would yeah. our wonders count as medium nope. buildings mm. for, for our... Nope, they don't count when it comes to that. They're wonders, not buildings. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm checking if I... I'm going to place my 41. I have two choices. Um, if I go there, I think I go this. That's, uh, yeah, I think I go this way. Right? Yes. Hmm, yeah. I will pass on that. Pass. Interesting. Martin versus Shrey. Sure. I was um, thinking if that's good for a 41, then that's this, almost the same thing. It's probably good for a 54. But you might want to go across the, the bridge. Yeah, I'll go across the bridge. I've passed, right? So it's just. Yeah, it's just those yeah. two. So yeah. those two. if I want to, I don't think I want to use the wonder to outbid him. I could put that on the island. And if I do, do I care about Trey having that? Means Trey's probably going to get the one point token with only always oh, going to get the 41 back. All right, I pass. House flips. And that gets back to me. And let's see. What do I put this 41? Um, I think we should put it somewhere over there. Um, the the yellow with the with the brown wheel, yeah. Uh -huh. Offering up the pocket. Yep. Do you, want, do you want to? Yeah. Um, the, the pocket is an interesting choice. Um. If I do grab the pocket. With the forty three, then I can slap my wonder down on that island should I feel like it instead of that island and still get the maximum amount of points. Mm hmm. Because um, it would be twelve. So that's kind of appealing. And I will. Is there anything else appealing about that spot? I could outbid going a different direction. What's it going to be? Uh, I will go. I'll go here with the 43. Martin? Um. Uh, white, oh, yellow, yellow could be nice. Get some up to six on yellow. I'm already on quite a lot of yellows. That would leave the pocket for white to outbid it, though. Which, or anyone outbid. 
Yeah, anyone would outbid my 51 for that, uh, for a, the, into that white pocket. I don't know if they'll use yeah. a high number to do it. Yeah, I think I'm going to yeah, chop it on the basis sense. that yeah. it's, it, if they're, they're welcome to that pocket if they're going to throw a big uh, building on top. I pass. Shrey? I'll do it. It gets me a white and a white, which is reasonable for me. All right, Shrey? All right, now, um, somewhere else. Somewhere over here. Oh, I gotta make sure I become careful about this. As the board crowd curls up, it does get more difficult to try and figure out the options. It does get more thinky as the game tightens. Start there. Okay. Martin, wait or pass? And that would end the game if. if uh, no, no, it would end. If we all. Trey's game. Yeah. Oh, that's it, because we all fin. <laughs> yes, I forgot that. So if I place the. Yeah, I'll do that. 43. 51. Brown spot, I've got nothing on it. Yellow thing, I've got quite a few yellow buildings. Um, no great advantage to doing anything else. Yeah, what the hell. Okay, so. <sighs> Y'all are not cooperating really well. Um, I pass. Martin? All right. So I could grab... There or there. Or there. None of them's a dead end. But all of them provide a dead end. Uh, I don't think they do. No, because these will open up. Oh, of course, yes. I keep forgetting, of course, they open yeah. up, don't they? Blah, 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 blah. Forget what I'm saying. I'm an idiot. No, no. Just, it's it's easy to overlook that. Yeah, it is very easy. So, if I go with the 103 and go in that spot, then slap the wonder down there, and then I don't like that. Um, but if I go with the 103 there, it provides me a dead end for that one, which I do kind of like. So let's put the 103 here. Martin? Why don't I take that, yes? Yep. Uh, yeah, because I passed. Yep. And that's the last A, which is very splendid to me. And, uh, yeah, I've got one fifty. I've got a 51 left to go. So where to put it? Um, what am I interested in? More yellow might be nice, more green tiles might be nice, but with a 51 I'm not likely to win anything. Um, so it's really where do I want to put cats amongst pigeons? Well, there's only two buildings that outbid it right now. That's true, Correct. I so. guess. 51, the two tall ones, the, and, the, and the wonder. The four. Four, yeah. Okay, four buildings. Okay, so, so that's quite a lot of things that I've it, isn't it, really? So, which way to go? I'm not... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I think I should just plop on something I'd kind of like anyway and see what happens. So, do I want a yellow what's it? Yeah, this sounds quite good. Yellow, what's it? So let me check my other piece of math. Yep. That'll be kind of fun. Well, let me have that. No. I am out of this. 103 or wonder. Green, yellow, white. Ooh, that gives Edward two pockets, three pockets, right? That would be a pocket, that would no, be a pocket. No, 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 because the, uh, yep. this, you get this oh. one, not not these two. Because those are oh, adjacent to each other. Yeah. Um. yeah, he does give him a pocket, though. No, you got to be nice to it. I'm happy to be nice to Edward. I'm not the mean one to Edward. 
<laughs> the joys of controlling the cameras. <laughs> uh, so I will pass. You can have that pocket. So then the obvious there with the two. Yep. So now I don't want any more yellow discs anyways. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and throw 31 there. So we can see what it's 51. Oh, sorry, yes. I need to see what it is as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the D is fine, so I can go this way, that way. Um, we'll go over here. All right, so the only... If I place the 43, Edward could always plop down his wonder. Um, Martin could always outbid me with the 51. Uh, if I go in that direction uh, with the 43. So if I go in this direction, the 43. Yeah, so it gives me read. Oh, I can cross the river, can't I? Mm -hmm. That could be interesting. Um, it doesn't do anything super drastic, so let's do that. Moving up there, I... Do you want your wonder? Uh, no, I pass. Do you no, want the big you, building or your wonder? So it's back to... Martin, Martin. White, yeah, big building or wonder or no. And this is the only square I can yes. go in. So if I place the wonder there, it's only two colors. That's unimpressive. If I place the big building there, then... There's still only two colors on that segment. Uh, yes. If I place the big building there, then I could place the wonder afterwards. Hey, Derek. How's it going? Um, I think Martin probably has this game wonderfully in hand. I am going to pass and let him take the ten-point thing. So Martin is done. I am done. I take the key to the city. All right. And I will retire to my penthouse apartment and watch you all scrabble around. So now that that's done... I start because I have the lowest value wonder, since obviously Martin's out in that regard. Um, you know what? Go ahead. Knock yourself out. I mean... I mean, you can place it, but it doesn't... Oh, hold up, hold up. I, that would give you a brown. I don't want to do that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you actually are yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you could do it the other way around. So if that's the case, let's go this route, actually. We'll go and go. Yeah, I'll go you there. can go there, can you? No, you I can't. cannot. It's not adjacent. Yeah, the green's fine, though. We'll start there again. That's fine. Right, well, I'll go to the same place I went last time. Uh, no, no, but that would no, that wouldn't be a pocket, right? Nope. Right. So I have two options, but one of them is a windmill. So yeah, we'll do it. Pass. Cheers. All those beautiful windmills. Okay, and do I do that? Tempting. Um, so, so uh, Adam says second to go out gets a small key that's worth four points, not included yeah. in the prototype. Well, I, oh, well, okay. So, as it is, that means they get this. Golf clap, you don't get four points. 
because I don't want to drop rules on people. I suspect we won't mind. At least I don't. Fair enough. And I'm the one person who guaranteed not to be able to get the small key. That is true. Um. Now you went in that direction. Um. I, there's better stuff out there that I would like, um, and I wish that I had a bit more control over this. Because going out second, not nearly as good as going out first. Yeah, and I'll pass. I'll let <laughs> you fight over this. Let him have it, I'll put a big guy interesting. down. Interesting. So if I <coughs> slap down my 103 right there, that's not pockets. So do I just let Edward claim that and lead out? Um, I think I do. Pass. So I, w I want to make a suggestion. You sure. A place where you, I should go there. And then I can take this. And then, oh, you, can, and I, then, you, can, and then you can take that. I don't want that. But you want the triple. <laughs> there is that. Um, so you then lose his two points on all these greens. Yeah, so no thanks. <laughs> um, How many greens do they have? One. Two. That's enough. <laughs> to counter the trickle. Four points, yeah, I guess. I guess. It was worth a try. Uh, uh, so here's a problem. If I place anything, then it gives Martin an ender. Well, I don't know if he would take it. You'd have to put a big, a big gun down to take it. Do you like yellow? Yeah. 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 I think that's reasonable. Yeah, if you want to use a, a big one, that's fine. To get a C as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I pass. Hey. All right, so goes Trey back gets to, no. that, goes back to me, because six. Trey didn't necessarily get that if you wanted to place your one. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah, you could have placed your one. I order. pass. Yeah. <laughs> so, back to me. Now, I don't think... So let's see, there's that, that, God, that area sucks for me, too. Um... Yeah, I'm okay with it. Martin? I pass. You want to play out his final things in a willing to go, do you? Um, so... I'll get all four of mine down where I like. Yeah, you would indeed. So... So, you, for instance, you can go make yourself a chain there, for instance. Another chain here, there you go. So the advantage of going lost is you do get the chance to put things down, but your spaces are relatively limited. So that's an interesting dilemma. Uh, so if I did that, now you're going to do that. No. Um, let's go over yonder. Here we go. Nope. There. What is your wonder, Edward? Two points for every structure around it. Probably six points, I think. So... So I think I do, this would guarantee me this island with two stall structures. So I think I do 
one, all three. And then do I... That gives him two, two pockets. Two pockets. And that, yeah, and then... My things are going anywhere I want when your thing goes down anyway. I so understand. Mm. Pockets don't really matter anymore. Um, it's yours. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, okay, so where do I want to place these? That's no, not I'm, contradictory, but no, yeah. I, I, I'm <laughs> yeah. just saying. Yeah. Let's. Um, I mean. So let's go. You can't I've place. Got, you can place your wonder. Uh, that's right. So um, wherever I bid, Edward would potentially bid over to me next to it. Um, so if I I've got the three in a row here, what I would like to get is ouch. Um, Well, maybe he doesn't want that spot. I don't know. Uh, I will bid one here. It will go there. You place it in your wonder? No? Uh, if I place nope. No, I'm not. Okay, so there. Last option I have is to place my wonder, and I will do so, and... I guess you get a chain, and you get the you get eight points for it yeah. if, if if you want yeah. to take it as yellow. So that yeah. So I think I do that, and I'll take it as a yellow. Yeah. Done. Okay. All right. So, so now last I, three. I get to place these. There's no way I can make a chain on that island. It's impossible now. Um, there we go. So uh, this can go down. I don't want to place it here. I clearly want to place it here for uh, three points for each color neighborhood that I have a structure on. So that's going to be 12 points. Why? Run, run folks through it? Three points for each different neighborhood color on which you have a structure on for that island. So three, six, nine, twelve. There you go. Each so 12. Oh, also, I, I need to get my points. Finally get on the board. I'm not used to that. I apologize. Two, four, four points. Go. Um, these can go anywhere I'd like. I can't make a chain. Um, a yellow thing would be nice. Are there any of those left? No? No, no, no. no, 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 no. I could take two green things. There's one there there's and one there. there. And it looks uh, green. Yeah, there's four greens yeah. left. Um, going on this island won't win it for me. I've already won those two islands. So I and just... You're, yeah, you're not winning an island. Is there any windmills left? There is with a C on it. If I do that, my greens would be worth two less points each, and I'm on one, two, three greens. Is the C worth more than six points? I doubt it. So I think I, and my whites are worth six, so I think I go here, and I go here. All right. So end of the era now. So island mm -hmm. control. So I have that for tall building, so that's here. So five for green. Here it goes, tall building, but two tall buildings because Martin's special. So Martin, the elder, gets that, 5, 4, brown, 2, 34. The center is going to stay here, so that's 37. That one over there is going to be the younger and the elder. I uh, believe, no, right? no, no. Shrey gets that one, yep. I think. Uh, yeah, he yep. has three little buildings because it goes down to the tiebreaker, right? So five yep. for blue and five for yellow. All right, next, uh, panorama. So, chain on an island. Go, blue, what do you, do you have it? One, two. So, six points mm -hmm. to 48. One, two, six points. Yellow? One over there, that's it. Three, yeah. Yep, yep. and three right here. Okay. okay. Uh, then for uh, windmills, I don't think I have any. I have at least two. Three. This one. Three. I have three. So six points six for brown. Yep. Anyone else want to volunteer? I've got one, two for four points. Double checking. Seven. I think I've only got one. Yeah, I think I have only one. And two. All right. So Do that, you have any, Edward? 
Okay, just know that ask. Uh, secret objectives now. I've had mine since the very beginning, but so ten. I forgot about mine, but I almost didn't do it till my last turn. I, I got have, uh, ten for everybody. Got them. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Thirty-one. Four white squares. Fifty-six. Sixty-two. All right. Now uh, discs and tiles. Uh, by the way, did the we did not score that yep. yet? Okay. Score so, that for ten. Sixty-six. All right. So here we'll start at the back. So all my yellows are worth four points apiece. This is a yellow, which is eight, nine. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the nine there. So that is done. So they are four points apiece for all my yellow ones. One, two. Help me out over here. Three. Four. Five. five. And that's it? 20 yep. So 20 to 42. Greens are worth six apiece. You gave your one. nine to yellow instead of yourself. So oh, yes, you did. Nine to 31. Have it. To 51. So greens are six. So six one. One, two. Three. Three. 18. Three. 69. Nice. And whites are three points apiece. One. And I think, and the ra the browns are three points apiece. So three, and then one, nine two, more. three. Okay. And mm -hmm. we can drop that. All right, that's me. So go, Shrey. All right, so my uh, yellows are. Oh, 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 oh. Flip the A's, B's, and C's up as well. Sorry, I, I'm just going to go ahead and bust mine out. So four and plus, plus one. three. So seven, eight, eight nine. Nine points. So, so finish 90. at 90. Not ideal. All right. All right, yellow, go. So uh, yellows are three points. I have one. one. I think it's just one, isn't it? One. Uh -huh. Yeah, one. Yep. Yep. So three points. All right. Um, then greens are four. Um, I got one. one. Of, yeah. Let's see, one to the one is all right. two. I think, I think just two greens. Yeah. So two, and those are three apiece. No, full four apiece. So eight. Eight, yeah. 42. Okay. All right, and then whites are six each. So there's one, two, three, four, four five, five. 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 So 30 to 72. Okay, and then eight. browns are four. That's one, two, two three, three six, four. And then I have another brown here for eight more. 96. And then the D to C, which is eight more. Yeah, Props seven. to 104. Leader in the clubhouse. All right, blue, go. All right, so um, yellows are worth four. One, two, so two, so that's eight. Uh, okay. Now everything else is worth six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. eight, nine, ten, so that's 60 points. 60 and 70 is 130. And, and my B is worth five more. Four plus the one is five. Leader in the clubhouse, 135. And then Martin. Thank so you. my yellows are worth six. So one, two, three, four. 24. My greens are worth three. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five. My white is worth four, so it's eight. Thirteen. And then my brown is worth a mere two, so it's just four. And then I have all A's, all the yeah, four A's, at eight for each, is thirty-two. So nine and thirty 40. is forty-nine. Plus another eight for the B's. Eight total. Eight, sorry, uh, fifty-seven. And then another five for the D. Is sixty-two. Wow. And crushed it. I mean, it's a pretty, I, it's almost even spread. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually. It's quite symmetric. It really is. It looks really pretty when you look at it that way. Uh, all right. So there we go. That right there. That is Skyrise. So we got uh, Deluxe Collector's Edition uh, prototype. So check out the Kickstarter down below if you are so inclined. Certainly appreciate the help from these guys. Appreciate the support from Raxley and everybody else out there that spent some time checking it out. If you want to see the Kickstarter, check out the link down below. Uh, we'll be back. We got solo streams the rest of this week, so be sure to come by and check those out. I'm your host, Edward. I'm Shrey. 
Martin. He's Martin. That. All right. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Certainly appreciate it. Consider supporting the show. Patreon.com forward slash forward slash HCHQ. Really, really appreciate it. Y'all have a good night. We'll see y'all soon. Take care. Good night, everybody. And send us those thumbs to fill up the fridge!